So the one thing that I was going to add, this is a manual setup. When we do an automated setup and you use that actuated valve, I'll just give you one example for a customer that was doing yogurt, the same one that I was talking about that necessitated the arc valve design. Within their process, they have parts of it that are gelatin, which is a viscosity modifier, you want to go slow. They've got starch, which you want to go sort of at a medium pace because it will modify the viscosity as it's going through the blender. Once it's in, it's going to look like milk. And then they have sugar where you can hump it in as fast as you can dump the bags. In that setup, instead of having the operator with an infinite number of valve positions, they built into their recipe system that when we're at sugar in the recipe system, the funnel's at position three. And the operator just goes click, click, click to three, wide open. When they're doing starch, position two, clicks it back to two. It shuts the valve to a certain percentage that they've determined works for them. When they're doing gelatin, position one, closes to maybe 10 or 15 percent open and they find that that allows the gelatin to go in and have enough fluid to actually disperse and hydrate it. And then zero is shut. And so the operator would select how far open but during their startup they determined how far those positions were. Of course the great, the great, um, the great wild card here is operator in a hurry. Sure. Well, that's exactly. You, the, uh, handle. you can do that or you build it right into the recipe system so when the system knows we're adding sugar, you don't have a choice. It's at sugar, wide open. 